Okay, I'm at my daughter's house, wonderful house by the way, a cool modern house, but I'm, I'm checking out the books, and I've always digged books even when I was a kid. In fact, uh, she's got a lot of my collection in her collection, some of the books that I read when I was young, Ivanhoe, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, great book. Serpico was a, a, a big impact me, on me, one of the reasons I decided to be a cop. But this is really cool, The Spirit of St. Louis. This book, this is the exact book that had a huge impact on my life. Um, I mean, the book itself is great, a, a true adventure, wonderful story. But the reason it made such an impact on my life is because I was reading this book when I was in middle school, and I used to catch the bus at the high school. So one morning I was, I was waiting at the high school, sitting on the back uh, concrete porch and waiting for the bus to come up and I'm reading my book and and this all of a sudden I see these these feet show up and I look up and there's a big high school gangbanger and he's like get off my stoop and I uh, let him try to make him understand this is a public place public property I'm waiting for my bus this is where I wait for my bus and he goes no stupid get off my stoop now or I'm gonna whoop your ass sir let me reiterate <laughs> This is a, a public place. I'm allowed to be here. And then he started like pushing on me, shoving on me. Listen, stupid, using some uh, expletives. If you don't move, get off my stoop right now. I'm going to whoop your ass good. And so I stood up and I said, sir, please understand. And he, and he really started pushing me. So it was then that I felt, you know, he might be a big high school guy, much older, much bigger than me. And I'm, I'm just a little middle schooler, but I've got to stand my ground. So I take this book and I smack him upside the face with it as, as in some type of medieval challenge or something. I don't know, but he whooped my ass. He opened a flurry of just punches for like 30 seconds and whipped my ass good. I was like a punching bag. I like standing around trying to get my wits. He's gone and I'm bleeding everywhere. Okay, I guess I'll go to the office and call my mom now. Well, that was the best thing that ever happened to me that day, that ass whooping, because I decided at that moment in life that that would never happen to me again. I started the following week taking uh, karate and uh, stayed in karate for, for 10 years and, and finished it up overseas and, I, and had been training ever since. And I've never gotten my ass whooped again, ever. And so, yeah. If I was to see that guy right now, today, and, and, and re-meet him, I would whip his ass, and then I would thank him, because that was a great moment.